All right, so today what we're going to do is we're going to go over some of the file shares and security inside Unraid, which is relatively simple. So if I go up here to this PC and I go down here, and, and this is in Windows, and I want to map a network drive, <clears throat> it's going to bring this up. And I'm going to do Madhouse, and I'm just going to hit Browse. And it's going to show App Data Download, and then my uh, video folder down here. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this out. And then we're going to go into Unraid itself. I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to go to my shares. And you see I have the ISO S share right here that we weren't seeing earlier. So what I want to do is I just want to click on it and I previously have this set up um, the way that I want it up here but to go down here to share <clears throat> first we want to do yes and when we hit expert yes that just means that we can see it and I'm going to hit um, apply so what this does is it keeps everything public so I, I'm good to go um, it's going to show up on my windows box I can go in there, I can read, I can write, I can delete, do everything else just like a normal file share. Now if I want a little bit more security, I can go down here to secure and hit apply. And then what this is going to do, if you go down here, we notice guest will have read-only access. So, and the defaults to read-only here, but I can uh, make my user ID as a read and write. Next thing that we can do is go down to private and we're going to hit private. And the difference in private, as you're going to notice, guest accounts will have no access, so no one can put those files in. So everything has to be explicit if I want read only or read write. Uh, for my use case, all I'm going to do is keep it as public and hit apply. Now that I have that done, I can move out of Unraid, go back to map my network drive in Windows. Go over here, hit Browse, and if I notice, the ISOS is now showing up. So I'm going to make that my Y drive, and I'm just going to finish it. And you notice I only have one file in there. But what I want to do is, I have this um, software file, and this is where, for example, I keep like my OSs. So I have like all my Debian's, and then everything <clears throat> that I have. Um, if I go down here for example and go down to like Windows 10 I had my Windows 10 um, code for my CD and I just copied the different ones that I own and then I um, keep the uh, text in there so the next thing that um, we're just going to do is I'm just going to cut and then I'm just going to go over here and paste this in here just to show you that I can sit there and write to this file um, if I don't want this virtual win file up there, I can right click that and just hit delete and then it's going to sit there and allow me to delete that file. Um, it's going to just take a second to do it um, on the connection. So hit yes. And then that's going to be um, deleted here in a couple of seconds. And there we go. That's all there is to it. Um, setting up shares, setting up security, easy as that. Um, if you need to set up more users, we can go over here to Unraid, hit users, and then I can just add a user, and then just really straightforward, add the username, add the password, and that way if I want to use like the secure or private and actually set up higher security setting at the user level we could do it um, just by adding the new users and then going back there and um, selecting those um, that's pretty much it i'm talking about setting up the security is pretty um, straightforward um, if there's um, any questions or any comments um, just leave them below and we'll just conclude the video now